There are so many things that people are afraid of, whether it be the fear of success, the fear of failure, the, the fear of not being good enough, the fear of being found out. Today on the blog, what we're going to be talking about particularly are some of these fears and how to overcome them. Hi, my name is Nicola and welcome to the blog for this week. Now, I remember when I first started out in business, I was so scared of it not working that that was kind of like my driver, yeah? And then as it kind of progressed through, I had some different fears come up, some different fears would creep in. Now, some of the things from talking to clients and speaking to friends of mine who are doing similar things to what I do, there is not only the fear of failure that is a bit of a driver, but also the fear of success. Now, the fear of success can look like a few different things. It can look like you you kind of get some goals and you, you get some results under your belt and then you kind of, for some reason, the whole thing blows up in your face. You might lose some clients, you might lose some money, you might have the worst month ever off the back of having some really great months. Now, a really awesome book that I've read and studied and listened to over and over again on an audio version over the years it's a book by Gay Hendricks and it's called The Big Leap. Now, he talks about these things being upper limit problems. Now, these are kind of like, you might find if you haven't read this book, you, you've got to go and listen to it. But you might find that you kind of hit glass ceilings where you hit a particular income level or you, you make a certain number of sales and then it's like, I like to think of it a little bit like the speed wobbles where things just kind of go a little bit pear-shaped, you might lose your motivation, you might get sick. You might have a, a really bad review or something kind of comes way out of left field that you've never, ever expected before. That can be you literally sabotaging your own success because a lot of people are afraid. They're afraid that when they hit their potential their, or, or start hitting their potential that the world is going to look all of a sudden very, very different to what it has been previously. They might think, and I know that this was for me, I was really worried about outshining other people. I was really worried that my friends would be like, I don't know who you are and I'm done you know, being friends with you. So I was worried about a lot of loss that would come up as part of me achieving success over the years and getting further and further along. I didn't worry so much about the failure option Although that has come up as a really big thing for me over the years as well, is like, I, I will not fail. Like, I know that this can work. I know that this can do great things. I know that what I do and how I do it really does transform and change lives. And so, you know, I know for that, I know that that's true. But the fear of failure, like, what if I don't, what if I don't meet my potential, hasn't really been a big enough driver for me to really kind of get going. So, There'll be some different things that come up for you as you think about what happens when things maybe don't go quite your way. Are you sabotaging yourself? Is it an upper limit problem? Is it just that you are tired? You know, and if that's the case, then that's okay. Not everything is sabotage. Not you didn't create absolutely everything that has happened in your world or the negative stuff that's happened in your world. But a lot of the time you can backtrack to the actions that you undertook maybe a few months ago that have resulted in you being here where you are right now at this exact moment. And I think a big thing that happens with this is the, the, the success pathway for many of us is so uncharted. It is unfamiliar because, you know, you haven't done this before, right? You haven't grown a business before. You haven't made a quarter of a million dollars or half a million dollars or a million dollars or $25 million. You haven't done that before. And a lot of the stuff that goes on on a conscious level, like at the front of your brain, as well as on an unconscious level at the back of your brain, stuff can happen, stuff can come up. So one of the big things that I invite you to do is to actually go back. And if things aren't going the way that they are going, that you want them to go right now, go and do a little bit of analysis. Have you implemented? Have you exhausted every single avenue that you know how to be able to get past this thing? Like, have you learned something and then not done the work? Have you gone and done the work but only partially implemented? Did you go and do everything that you were told? And, you know, maybe that's a, another thing to take a look at. 
So there'll be some different things that have gone on throughout the course of your business and throughout the course of your journey doing this that will give you some indicators of whether you are more motivated by the fear of failure or by the, the lure of success, right? Or the fear of success or that I will do everything that I can to make sure that I don't fail. Now, when you know what your personal motivator is, that's how you can then implement it and instigate something that allows you or creates the space for you to be able to propel forward and to actually use that as leverage. You just got to get leverage over yourself, right? So that you can get out there and do what it is that you need to do. All right. So the book that I'm referring to in you know a lot of the things that we've been talking about today is called The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks. You can get it on audio version, PDF version, you can, like an ebook version. You can get it in print. I would recommend getting all of them, <laughs> um, and then listen to them, and then listen to it again, and then listen to it again. And when things aren't going quite right for you, or maybe things are going really well for you, make sure that you've got these things in place to enable you to keep moving forward and hit those goals that you've set for this year that you really truly deserve to achieve. All right, my name is Nicola. If you've got any questions about this stuff, please make sure you leave them below and I'll talk to you soon.